everyone. Welcome back to F124. This is the highest Ricky driver career, and we're here at Zandvoort for the Dutch Grand Prix. Pit stops happening right now because the track has went from intermediates to to drying out, mainly thanks to a red flag. Uh, an Alpine spun and blocked the track. And we're on pit lane, so. Oh god damn. Of course it's Haas. Let me go god damn piece of shit. Let me see if we got him let me go get sooner than that. Jesus Christ. Front wheel. I know it's not ideal, mate, but let's try There's no one in hell other than Sergeant fucking faster than me. And DRS is available. God damn it. Oh yeah, just just slide around. Yep, car. Yeah, just sliding. There's no fucking goddamn reason it's got a car sliding anyway. No need to worry about the tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. Yep, Lando and got them cold-ass tires and we fashioned them. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. 
No goddamn way in fucking hell is Lando fucking able to goddamn pull away like this. I'm goddamn fucking cold ass fucking slick. No goddamn way in fucking hell, dude. Right, we need to get past here, use overtake, use overtake. You've lost some time to the car behind. God damn it, Turbo just fucking went out. Are you kidding me, dude? What in the hell? Two races in a row. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. So now we've lost an engine, a turbo, and I believe it was the MGUK. Yeah. We're done with Haas. I was gonna try to take them to the championship, but god damn, I can't, I can't. I cannot deal with this shit. Goddamn pit fucking, the mistakes in pit lane, the goddamn components breaking, fuck it. I'm not staying with this team. And Max is going to take a, he has a championship lead and he's going to probably go on and win the damn championship because Haas just 
falter all the time. Put up an the pit road mistakes. They've been way too many. The components, I understand, the, but the constantly pit road mistake after pit road mistake after pit road mistake. It's like, no, no. If you don't get a, a pit crew that's not going to make mistakes constantly, then you're not going to have great drivers. I understand maybe a mistake it once every now and then, but wild weekend of all the time. Action, and I can't wait to see what's next. I thought Stroh might end up going, and, going on and winning, but nope. Finished last. The teammate beat me again for the third time this season. And now I'm 13 points behind Max. I came in 13 ahead, now I'm 13 behind. And Red Bull, we've gotten passed by Ferrari in the Constructor Championship. Eight points behind Ferrari. We are 40, we're a full race behind McLaren. Red Bull have about won the Constructor Championship already. My God, oh well. Max is going to go and win another driver's championship. So the first one to 291, or I need to be ahead by 36 points. Is that my, my understanding? Well, the racecraft wearing his pace down. Focus, focus shouldn't be my fault. That's a little bit bullcrap. Because that goes on where I finish at. Well, I can't help it when a damn component breaks. Well, that's bullshit. I did the strategy analyst completion. Uh, I completed theirs. I actually did it. Completed the race strategy practice program on three different tire types, but what the hell ever. Oh well, another race down with component break when I, where I won't get the resource points for for the failure. Yeah, I had 600 before I even started the race. Now I have 696. So where the hell is the 320 at? Codemasters, EA, whoever the hell you got to talk to, y'all got to fix this shit. This is ridiculous. Every time a component breaks and they say, here's your research and development points for that, you don't receive it. Or I haven't. One components, you think? One, one just broke. At least it went 300 laps. At least it went 300 laps. The second engine went 19 laps. Just started a damn race. I think it was the second race of the season. Third, fourth race of the season. No, third. Sorry, third race. Third race in Australia. It just started. Hell, we hadn't ran two laps. Pew. And I'm DNF at Spa. DNF at, at Zandvoort. Max has won his fifth race of the season. He won Jeddah. He won Australia. 
He wins Austria, Silverstone, and now he wins Zandvoort. And I have not won since Canada. But we're heading to the fastest track in Formula One, heading to Monza. Damn it, I want to get this, but let's see, that is going to help out. We've got that too. That came on from Monza. The wider DRS gap. Damn it, we can't get it. Did it. Damn, gotta go away already. Son of a bitch. And we'll be back for two two weekends. Are you kidding me? So 70 to 80 experience, 82 to 79 awareness, me, 86 to 84 racecraft, Gasly, 88 to 86 pace, me. Okay. Target, 40, uh, target to win is 291. Max is leading me by what, 13 points? That's a major upgrade, but yeah, this minor upgrade does more for the chassis. down 
and I'll just rush it. Maybe we can get a drag reduction and the tire blankets. Come on, can come on the car after Monza. Yep, every one of them. We've got to have this before we can get this. Right. Now we go ahead of this before we can. Uh, before we can go after this, okay. The front wing main flap, that would really help out too. God, that would help out. Let's go see how our secret meeting goes. With Mercedes. They've gone, gone after a lot of durability. That means they've got a, a lot of arrow, powertrain, and chassis they can improve on. 70% success rate. We're only 65. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hamilton won Monaco. George Prince second in Miami. Anyway, yeah, well, that will continue the talks. about us chatting with anyone else. Hell yeah. The went well too. I know, I know. I'm amazing. <laughs> You're welcome. Hell yeah. Keep it quiet. Keep it hush hush. You just shut up about it. Stop talking about it right now. Okay, here we go. Well, I'm not going to show you all practice. I want to see what uh, what we're going to improve on. Drag reduction, drag reduction, rear downforce. Rear downforce ain't even available. What the hell are you talking about? Weight reduction, weight reduction, weight reduction. Are you kidding me? No chance of rain, though, so that's good. Williams have made tremendous upgrade. They have caught Aston Martin and us. We're just a little bit behind Mercedes and Ferrari. 
but with the upgrades it can't but well, hopefully will come on the car after Monza we could move up to number one number two one or two if every upgrade comes on the car after Monza we will move up to one or two god damn you Nico you stupid bastard you fucking dumb bastard, man. Drag reduction is... Yeah. Well, two drag reductions and a rear downforce, which doesn't make a damn bit of sense because it's not even available. But once we get this... Then we get the front wing main flat and the re, uh, diffuser redesign layout. I can't believe he went and fucking. Why did he fuck with it? God damn it. Fuel tank position is a major upgrade, but it's not available yet. It will be after the plank. And if we add this, that's a move us up in our chassis ranking. We are still at the top of the power, uh, power unit, powertrain, whatever. We're right in the middle of the arrow, just behind Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes has a lot more upgrades they can add. We are behind everyone in chassis department. Mercedes is right in the middle. So powertrain. Mercedes is a little bit behind us, but they've got some upgrades they can do. So moving to Mercedes, my, it's going to be a better deal, I think. And with them completing 70% of their upgrades, yeah. So weight reduction is going to be on there, too. So yeah, we might be able to get the drag reduction and weight reduction, both. That, that will do it. Thank you for watching. You know what to do when we come back. It will be the fastest race or the fastest circuit in F1. Mine's the baby. And the Italian Grand Prix. Hope everyone, everyone has a wonderful day. I will catch you all next time.